Hi, my name is Brian Raffle. I'm the Stewie head of Raven Software. First game I ever loved was Bard's Tale, hands down. It was an awesome game and uh, I played it on three different platforms. So you knew I loved it. I played it on Amiga, a Commodore 64, and a little bit on the Apple. Uh, I got started work by working in games uh, w way back on the Amiga. We started working on doing artwork in the Amiga. I have a background in art and uh, uh, loved working on the computer and we decided, hey, we can make our own game. So that was pretty much how we got started. Uh, our first big break was with Electronic Arts. We did our first game by Crypt with them and uh, it was uh, a really big success. Uh, my educational background, I have two degrees. One is in commercial art and one is in art education. And I think those all helped me working, being a teacher for a while, really helped me learn to you know, help run my company and run business and uh, also helped me with, of course, doing the art for the game. Uh, what drives me to do what I do every day? I think it's my need for wild gold, so I have to continue to work to support that habit. Uh, but uh, mostly it's just to just love working with creative people and work loving, you know, going to work and love on working on these different IPs that we've been working with like Singularity and Wolverine and things and uh, it's just great to go in and work on different IPs and, and games and it uh, never it gets boring. I think what makes a game a big success is first of all some, a unique hook that makes it different than the other game and, and, and real solid gameplay. I think if a game is sluggish and doesn't and doesn't uh, spark any kind of uh, new new creative vision with a player, if they get kind of bored just because it's been there, done that. I think that's where it fails. Uh, what what is one thing I wish I could change about the game industries? Uh, I wish that they would be you know a lot more money involved for the, the people who make the games. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I wish there just could be a lot more opportunity to work uh, with all kinds of different people. There's always limitations, whether it's because of the publishing or the license or different agreements. I know uh, there's been a lot of different people we want to work with, but because of just some kind of legal reason, we couldn't work with them. I guess the advice I give to inspiring developers would be there's actually a lot of opportunities to get into the industry now, but you have to have a lot of persistence, you have to have a lot of vision, you have to be able to, to find the, those cracks and exploit them. I mean, basically that's what we, we had to do. And, uh, but now I think, you know, you've got so many different venues. You've got the iPhone, you've got, you know, um, you know uh, X, Xbox Live. There's lots of different ways to get in nowadays if you can just really, you know, push yourself. What's my favorite story? Uh, I guess one of my favorite stories was always has always been Elric. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a fantasy story way back from. I guess I'm dating myself again. <laughs> uh, Michael Moorcock. I think they're gonna make a movie out of it. But uh, it was always a, a popular series that I loved to read when I was uh, first starting getting into gaming. Uh, one of the things I like to do before I die, there's, uh, there's I like to go to Europe. I've only been to London, but I've never been to like, uh, you know, Venice or, or, or Italy. So I, I really want to go there. That's one of the big things I'd like to do. Well, uh, I was a teacher for quite a while and I think I'd like to go back to that. I really enjoyed working with students. I was I used to be a cross country and track coach and I really got a lot of reward uh, working with kids and students. Uh, I don't think if I had to, what would I not want to try? I don't think I'd like to be a, uh, a sewer cleaner or something like that. I think I'd like to stay away from that. My favorite artist is uh, Frank Frazetta. I grew up loving Frank Frazetta, a big fantasy artist, and uh, you know, all those uh, Conan and, and things like that. But I always uh, tried paint, doing his paintings and sketching from his, his sketchbook. Uh, something that would surprise people about me is I used to be a, a restaurant manager and cook. That was my that was my big profession for a while. I was going to be a restaurant uh, manager. Fuck. Why? Oh, um, I use it quite a bit at work when I want to get things done and people aren't listening. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use it often. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, I work, I, I like to listen to all, lots of different types, but uh, I'm kind of a heavy metal person, so I like megahertz and, uh, you know, some of this, uh, you know, Ramstein, so I have, I have a pretty uh, heavy, heavy background in heavy metal. I uh, love World of Warcraft, playing a lot of that. I am very heavily into the undead. I have three undead 70s, well, two 80s and one 70s level undead. I'm primarily a healing priest. Mostly that, uh, I have been, I've been uh, playing uh, Fallout 3 and some other things like that, but mostly it's uh, working on three games coming out in a little bit of a while now and again, and uh, watching my kids play. <laughs>